Hi guys, welcome to the watch channel. Today I have a, another video for you guys. This is a full review of the Zellos Mako 3 uh, with the teal dial. Uh, I've done an unboxing video of this, you may have seen that. And uh, today I'm going to do a full review, let you guys know my thoughts on this very popular watch. I've heard pretty much only positive things about this watch and the Zellos as a brand, so I was really excited to get one myself. And um, you know what? I don't like it. Okay, so to begin with, we can do the dimensions of this watch. Uh, it is a 40 millimeter case. Uh, it has a 46 millimeter lug to lug. The thickness is 11.5 millimeters, uh, but that is without the domed sapphire crystal. Uh, with the crystal, it's about 14.35 uh, millimeters. And uh, the lug width on this is 20 millimeters. Uh, so the size of the watch is great. Uh, it's a perfect size for me. I have quite small wrists and uh, it wears really nicely. And another thing that's great with this watch is of course the dial. Uh, I love this whirlpool effect uh, with also kind of a fume going on, uh, which is really nice. I love the color of it. This is the teal colored, as I said. Uh, so it's beautiful, beautiful blue. Um, almost with a little green in it, uh, more so in real life than on the camera. And on camera it looks very blue, but uh, for me here it looks like it has a hint of green. Uh, so the color is, is beautiful. Uh, so let's take a closer look at this dial. Uh, what you can see here is the uh, Zellos uh, logo. It is in um, metal, polished metal, which makes it kind of not stand out very much, it kind of blends in, uh, which is cool, I guess. Uh, what I don't like about this dial is the text. Uh, automatic text in white is fine, but the other text there, you cannot read it. Like, it's impossible to read, even in person. I can't get close enough, I don't think. Uh, but it says 300 meters, which is the water resistance, and uh, 1,000 feet. Uh, but the text is in red, and it's very small, so it's actually impossible to read. Well, very hard to read. And uh, I just don't like the red on blue. Uh, I don't think it looks, I don't think it looks good at all. So that's something that I, it's, it's a minor thing, but it's, you know, any color but red would be fine. But uh, the red kind of ruins it for me. But again, it's it's not something you really, notice uh, when you're wearing it, but I think it's a, it's a little annoying detail on the dial. Another uh, really annoying thing if you go outside the dial is the chapter ring. Uh, as you can see the chapter ring is in a light blue color, which is nowhere near the color on the dial. Uh, it looks really really out of place, especially when uh, the color you see gets dark and darker towards the edges, uh, then this bright blue it's just completely out of place and for me it's probably my biggest dislike about this watch and it's um, it just looks bad in my opinion. Uh, this is a problem with this model or this colorway and there's a lot of different colors that don't have this red text problem and the chaptering problem. Uh, so you can get a different Cellos Mako and um, you will not have those issues. But on this teal dial, that's something that I find to be really, really... It ruins the watch for me, to be honest. Other than that, the markers are applied markers, and you can see uh, the loom inside. I'll show you the loom later. The loom is really, really good. Uh, I don't love the markers on 12 and 3, uh, but the rest of the round markers are fine. Hands are really simple. quite like the hands. You can see there's a red tip on the second sand. Uh, don't mind the red there, it makes more sense there than on the text. Uh, you also have a date wheel. Uh, I'll move the mini hand for you. There we go, and the date wheel. Uh, let's see if I can actually screw in this crown. So the date wheel also has the same blue color as the chapter ring. 
Uh, it's not as bad there because the blue color from the dial is brighter in that spot than it is around the edge. Uh, but still, uh, I would, would have changed that color to something a little bit darker. Uh, what I do like though is that they don't have just a standard white background with black text on the on the tape like most brands do. Uh, so they've paid attention to it, but I feel like they've uh, messed it up a little bit with the choice of color. So that's a good and a bad thing. I guess it's better than white background with black text. Uh, the crystal is obviously a sapphire. It is double domed. So you can see it doesn't distort that much. It will obviously distort a little bit. Uh, it is also uh, quite thick. Uh, you can see it's like a boxed uh, crystal. Uh, but I really like the crystal, uh, it's subtle dome, uh, I really like dome cr crystals, so it's, it's really nice. Uh, then you have the bezel. Uh, the bezel is, uh, does have a steel insert. Uh, for some reason I feel like the steel on the bezel is darker than the steel on the rest of the watch. I don't know if that's the case or not, I think it is. Uh, which is something I don't like. Uh, if it is correct, maybe it's just me, uh, it's like an illusion, uh, but it looks a little bit darker than the the rest of the steel, so I wish it was the same shade. Other than that, it is fully loomed, and again the loom is really good, I will show you that uh, in a minute. Uh, if you turn the bezel, the action is nice, you know, it is it's really good to be honest. Uh, but there is a little bit of play in the bezel. So I can move it around a little bit, but uh, not much. And at the price point, I, I can't really complain about the bezel. I think it lines up. It does right. Lines up perfectly. And that's the most important thing. I very rarely touch the bezel, so as long as it lines up, I'm happy. Uh, so inside this watch, we find a Mayora. 9015 movement, uh, which is a, a common movement, uh, and it's uh, a decent enough movement. Uh, it does have hand winding, and it does hack. Uh, it beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, which is 8 per second. And this crown is kind of hard to screw down. There we go. One thing I really like about the crown is the logo on it, and it is also loomed. I don't know how useful that is, but it's kind of cool. Uh, speaking of things that I don't like about this watch is this part. Uh, in between the lugs, you have this bit coming out a little bit, uh, which makes the bracelet or strap look more integrated to the case. I don't mind it so much on the strap, but I don't think it looks great uh, with a bracelet on. Uh, but I generally would prefer it with the, would prefer if this wasn't here. But uh, not a major complaint, but just a small one. And this is a thing that I don't like. It's not something that's negative about the watch. It's just I don't particularly like that. Uh, you can see the end links on the bracelet are quite uh, short or small. I'll talk a little bit more about the bracelet soon. Uh, I can show you what the watch came in. Uh, it came in a wooden box with magnetic locking and then a roll with four pockets and a logo there. In one of the pockets you will find a really fancy warranty card. and the spare strap, uh, in this case the bracelet. doesn't come with this watch, I believe. I think it's a leather strap that's supposed to come with it, but I bought this pre-owned, and this is what I got with mine. And uh, this is the uh, rubber strap that it comes on, the Tropic Rubber, uh, which again, I will get back to soon. Uh, let's flip the watch around and look at the case back. Uh, it looks a little bit dirty, it's because the pr uh, previous owner had a sticker staying on, which has left some residue, uh, but uh, let's try and ignore that. And the case back is really simple, yet I think really beautiful. Uh, this is a shark 
uh, I presume a mako shark, uh, which the watch is um, called after. Love the brushing on that. Uh, it has some circular brushing, which looks really, really beautiful. Other than that, we can see there's some text, which is quite hard to read. Sapphire crystal, and this is limited to 200 pieces, so this is number 197. It's one of the last ones, actually. And it's the Zellos Mako V3, 300 meters, 316L stainless steel. That's what you get on the back. Uh, let's look more at the case. Uh, this case is uh, quite thin, uh, as we said. What makes this watch thick is that the bezel, bezel is quite thick and also obviously the dome crystal. Uh, it's quite simple case from the side with the brushed sides and you have beautiful bevel edges with the polish and uh, brushed on top. Uh, you also have a bevel edge on the bottom here. Come on, focus. So the case really beautiful on this side and even more beautiful on this side uh, where you can see it like tapers into the crown. Uh, with the bevel, uh, with the, the bevels coming in, tapering in, uh, really beautiful. I think, I think Celos did a great job on the case on this watch, uh, except for these things in the middle. I hate them, but the rest of the case is beautiful. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the loom. I'm going to speed up the footage, and I'm going to show you 10 minutes of loom. So as you can see the loom is quite fantastic on this watch, uh, it is one of the really really strong uh, strong features of this watch and the uh, loom is always cool. Uh, the price is 449 US dollars for this watch and I must say that's quite cheap, you know you get a lot of watch for your money. Even though there's a lot of small f things about this watch that I really don't like, uh, it's, it is a good watch for the money. I cannot say anything uh, else. Uh, personally, I would probably go for a different model than the Mako, uh, but if I went for the Mako, I would go with a different colorway at least, and I didn't have this chapter ring and the red text, uh, which ruins this particular one for me. Uh, so I'm gonna sell this one if you're interested, you know, let me know. Uh, but uh, I'm definitely not done with Zellos as a brand. Uh, this is my first one, but it will not be my last. I'm very excited to explore different models in their collection. Uh, so even though I'm quite disappointed really, I would say I'm disappointed with this watch. Uh, it's not because of the quality of the watch, it's more because of small little things like the colors. I feel like not matching and uh, some things that I just personally don't like uh, with the markers and this thing in between the lugs. And um, yeah, that's, that's it really. I can't complain about anything else. Uh, but let's look at the strap. So this is a Vulcanized rubber strap. It's called a Tropic rubber strap. Uh, I really like Tropic rubbers. Uh, it looks beautiful. It's very comfortable. Uh, you have two keepers, and then you have this Zellos uh, branded clasp. Uh, so the strap is great. Uh, let's show you the bracelet. Uh, there's things I like about this bracelet, and there's things I don't like. I don't like the end links. I don't feel. I don't know if I can show you what it looks like, but you get an idea. Uh, I just don't, it's, I guess it's supposed to look more integrated to the case. Oops. I suppose it's supposed to look more integrated to the case, uh, but I don't really like how it looks. Uh, another thing that I come to dislike, I thought I liked it at first, but I don't, is this clasp, but I'm sh I know that they've changed this clasp on the newer models. So that shouldn't be an issue anymore, but it's a uh, very simple full lower clasp. Uh, it has some micro adjustments uh, uh, possibilities inside. And what's what I don't like about it is this. It's very hard to close. It doesn't feel very good at all. It's yeah. Also, don't really like the design of it. But uh, at least it's uh, it's a custom clasp. It's not something they just ordered and put their uh, 
Logan, so that's good, I guess. Uh, the rest of the bracelet is really nice. I love the wide center links. I love the polish on the sides. And generally, the bracelet is really comfortable. Back to the watch. Let's try it on my wrist. So my wrist is 17 and a half centimeters. So here is the watch on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist. Uh, it is, I'd say a perfect size, but it looks bigger on the camera than it is in real life. Uh, but uh, it wears really comfortably. Uh, thickness is not bad. And the lug lug is very, very good. Uh, even though it looks really big on me on the camera, it's not this big. It's kind of annoying actually. Uh, but yeah, it wears really well. What if I zoom out? This is what it looks like. Ish. By the way, the cl I showed you the clasp. I didn't really comment on the details, but they all, it also has the bevel edge here. Uh, the clasp is really beautiful actually. I uh, really like the clasp. So a little summary about the things I like and dislike about this watch. Uh, I dislike chapter in color, date, background, color, text, color, bezel, color, indices on 12, 3, 6. This thing in between the lugs and to some extent you know it goes with this but the end links on the bracelet and, and the clasp but the clasp is changed uh, on the newer models. Those are the things I don't like about this watch. Uh, but more importantly what do I like about this watch? Uh, I have to mention the dial of course. It is mesmerizing. Uh, it is one of the most beautiful dials I've seen certainly for $449. I also really like the case. I think it is uh, nicely finished, looks great and uh, it's a nice form factor. Speaking of form factor, I like the size of this watch. Uh, it is the perfect size for me uh, in the sweet spot for a diver watch. I think four millimeters is perfect. Uh, another thing, maybe my favorite feature besides the dial is the loom. The loom is really, really good. So according to Zillow's, this watch has a ceramic bezel. Certainly doesn't look like it. Is this ceramic, guys? It looks like stainless steel to me. Uh, it is, by the way, 120 clicks. I didn't mention that. Uh, but can this be ceramic? No way. Guys, let me know. Is this a ceramic bezel? Am I an idiot? Or is it incorrect information on their website? If it is ceramic, I understand that it is darker. Doesn't mean I like it, though. And the last thing I like about this watch is the price. $449, you're getting a lot of watch for your money. You get a unique design, really special dial, and just a great watch. And uh, I, I do recommend uh, the Cellos Mako 3, but I do not recommend getting the teal one. The teal one, the colors are bad. Like, who puts red in illegible red text on a blue dial? And this chaptering, what were they thinking with this chaptering? I, I don't get it. But other than that, this watch is great. I like it. So that's my review of the Zellos Mako 3. Uh, what do you guys think of this watch? Do you have a Zellos? Uh, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, it really, really helps me out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really nice day. And uh, goodbye.